My name is Eric Cutter. I'm the managing director of Alegria Fresh, and you are sitting in the middle of Orange County's first zero waste, high performance urban micro farm. The farm here has been designed basically to be deployed over man made surfaces. It's going to take advantage of the land that people consider unusable or won't be used for quite a period of time. I've embarked on this journey about five years ago to prove out a model that demonstrates how high nutrition density we can generate by developing beautiful soils. Different systems, here we deploy three different systems on our farm. They're all very high performance, all using less than uh, 75 to 80 percent water. Some are 90 percent less water, 50 percent less fertilizer. This is what I believe we need to do to create a paradigm shift in urban agriculture that would allow people to start healing themselves with what we call healing foods used to be loaded with orange trees and all kinds of farmers. I mean, I, I believe there was 30 or 40 families back in the 50s that had very large farms. And now today, I think out of those 40 or 50, there's only three. And I heard a statistic that, you know, we need 700,000 farmers in the next 20 years. And this last five years, we've generated a whole 1,220. If you imagine, what is the 21st century farm going to be? And how do we engage youth into a, getting interested in growing food, and B, how do we create jobs that are profitable? We've got tremendous support from some of the local chefs around here. The crew up at Pelican Hill, Tender Greens, uh, Kaya, uh, Skyloft, all those groups, a bunch of restaurants in uh, Laguna Beach have really bought into this because they know, they, they've determined, as I have shown them <laughs> as a chef myself, that food, when it's grown properly in great soils, has distinct flavors that you just can't match. See how rich this soil is, how dark and black? And see how many worms are in here? If I dig back in here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this soil, I'm gonna do that to it. Have you ever seen soil hold itself together like that? Okay, that's humus. Now, humus is organic matter. This is all the organics and the biology in the soil. Humus and human are spelled very similar, right? They happen to mean the same thing. They mean of and for the earth. So that's what humans are. That's what humus is. It's very difficult to educate people who think their food supply is intact and they don't understand the nutrient deficiency, though that's a huge obstacle. One of the major things we need to do is educate. And what you guys are doing will go a long way to educating people that First thing is taste. You know, you got to be able to teach people that that's what makes food good for you. It tastes rich. The second thing is, how do we get a political environment in place that would support these farms? We definitely can't afford to pay big bucks for leases and tons of water. And what do we do with, say, the 20,000 kids with environmental science degrees that have to go back home and move home? I mean, when I came out of school, I got a job. These kids are going back home. How are we going to develop the will to change our distribution system and put these farms, I mean, imagine one every five miles, three miles. Imagine one in every hundred unit community. All of a sudden, everybody's got a living farm stand. So these are some of the ideas, besides you know selling to chef-driven restaurants, that I've been exploring to see how we can really make an acre profitable. Now I've had a few months here that we did upwards of $18,000 in a month. Having proven that you can do $250,000 a year wholesale on a farm if it's planned properly is a game changer. That's five times what an average conventional farmer would want to pull out of a single acre of 50,000 bucks. So there is great hope that we could build one acre farms and I call it, you know, one acre's impact. How can we make the most impact out of a single acre? And if it can create 250,000 bucks, that's jobs for five kids full time, and that's $15 an hour living wage jobs, enough money to actually build and drive and finance a farm. So we'll be moving from here in October, and I plan to build Farm 2.0, and hopefully you guys will accept an invitation to come back and see what the next farm looks like, because it's gonna be pretty awesome. Really what it's about for me is, it's not really legacy, but it's about doing something that's beyond me, and that is providing tools, the things that I can glean from my experiences on this planet, how to give our young generations the tools they need 
to become more capable and more independent. I mean, if you really think about this country, the two most important things are food security and energy independence. And we have not really done a lot to create either one of those two things. I look at these farms as a living testament to food security and energy independence. And if we could take some of the 40 square miles that exists in Los Angeles and Orange County that nobody's using or several years away from being developed and turn them into these quote temporary high performance urban farms, we're going to make a big dent in not only the autoimmune disease incidents we're seeing, we're going to create more energy for our kids. I believe that food is the great convener. When people are not hungry, they're not going to fight as much. Food is a privilege, it's not a right. And I think that the greatest thing that I can teach kids is that this is incredibly important to their well-being and if they learn these things they can take it with them wherever they go. And that makes for a pretty independent kid. I see this as a great paradigm shift but we got to get a lot of support on it and I, I see the support coming. So I'm very optimistic. I think humans are a resilient bunch and we'll figure it out.